The arm bone, the humerus, meets the shoulder blade, the scapula, to form the shoulder joint. The rotator cuff is a group of four muscles that attach the scapula to the humerus. They act to rotate the humerus, as the name implies. They also act to lift the arm above the head. Rotator cuff tears can occur as a result of an injury if the tendon is violently stretched and pulled. They can also result from chronic wear and tear. Rotator cuff pain can begin with shoulder impingement. This is when the space underneath the acromion, part of the scapula, becomes too tight for the rotator cuff tendons to pass through. This often happens when a bone spur forms on the bottom of the acromion. Each time the arm is lifted, the rotator cuff tendons rub against the acromion. This irritates the tendons and can eventually begin to wear at them. A bursa, or sac of fluid meant to cut down on the friction over the tendons, is located underneath the acromion. It can become inflamed, a condition known as bursitis, and swell. The swollen tendons and bursa make the subacromial space even tighter and the condition worsens. A physical exam is helpful in diagnosing rotator cuff tears and impingement syndrome. The shoulder is tested in such a way as to put tension on specific tendons. Pain and weakness indicate an injury. Although the rotator cuff cannot be seen on x-rays, x-rays sometimes have evidence of rotator cuff injuries, such as bone spurs that poke down into the tendons. An MRI is often obtained in order to visualize the rotator cuff tendons and identify tears or irritation. Shoulder impingement and partial rotator cuff tears can often be treated with anti-inflammatory medications, steroid injections, physical therapy, and activity modification. Complete rotator cuff tears do not heal on their own. They require surgery. There are different methods of performing a rotator cuff repair. Some surgeons prefer to do the entire surgery through a scope. Others prefer to do the repair through an open incision. The torn, unhealthy portion of the rotator cuff tendons is removed. If the subacromial space is too tight, the bursa is removed and part of the bone removed to make room for the rotator cuff to pass through comfortably. Using anchors and suture, the healthy rotator cuff tendon is reattached to the humerus. After rotator cuff surgery, several weeks of physical therapy are necessary. Until the repaired rotator cuff has time to heal, the shoulder should not be used. With time, activity is gradually resumed and the shoulder strengthened.